Hello everybody, this is MJ. Do like, share, comment and subscribe my channel. So without wasting any time, let's start today's topic that is Geography through Maps. Today we'll try to learn about Oceanography. For those who doesn't have any idea about it, let me explain a bit. It's a branch of physical geography that deals with the oceans and seas including their physical and chemical properties. So in short, it is the scientific study of the oceans. So we'll start with ocean currents. So let's start with the definition. Ocean currents are the continuous flow of huge amount of water in a definite direction. Ocean currents are like river flow in oceans. They represent a regular volume of water in a definite path and direction. If it's really long, let me tell you a very short, very very short definition of ocean currents. The general movement of large mass of surface water in definite path pattern is called ocean currents so now the question will arise what causes them so the answer is causes of the movement of ocean currents are the earth's rotation which results in the genesis of deflective or Coriolis force you can say that second is the planetary winds third difference in the temperature of ocean waters between the equator and the poles fourth salinity of ocean affects the density of water which is the main cause of movement of ocean water Shape and configuration of the continental determines the direction of ocean currents. These are the causes of the movements of ocean currents. So if you talk about types, there are two types of ocean currents. Generally, uh, warm and you can say cold currents. Uh, if you talk about warm currents, those ocean currents which flow from the warmer equatorial zone to the polar, polar region having a higher surface temperature are called warm currents. And Cold currents, talking about cold currents, those ocean currents which flow from the polar region to the equatorial region having a low surface temperature are called cold currents. So let's see, first of all, uh, uh, let's start with Atlantic Ocean, North America and South America, the region between that, just look there, concentrate over there. If you talk about warm current, warm current is symbolized with, the, with this uh, red, uh, red color and on the other side, uh, blue color signifies or shows the cold current, the arrow with the red, co uh, red colors and that too in the North America, South America region so because uh, uh, it's better to just concentrate uh, on Atlantic Ocean and then we'll shift towards uh, other oceans so it will be more easy for you guys. So let's see the warm current, north equatorial current, see that, uh, which buffers into Antilles current and Caribbean current. Caribbean current, just see the location there, in North America that, just see the location. And south equatorial current, south equatorial current, see that, buffers the landmass of northeast Brazil into northern Kenny current and the southern Brazilian current, that is in South Atlantic Ocean, see that, see that. Third current is Gulf Stream, one of the strongest ocean current system which originates in the Gulf of Mexico. See that Mexico. It consists of Florida current from the state of Florida to Cape of USA. Gulf Stream cold wall from Cape Hatteras to the Grand Bank that is in Northeast USA. North Atlantic drift from the Grand Bank New, New Newfoundland to Western Europe and then Counter equatorial current flows from west to east in between the north and south equatorial current. See that, see that. Then let's see the cold current of Atlantic Ocean. Uh, first one, let's see Labrador current, the upper side. Originates in the Baffin Bay, drifts southeastward between Baffin Island and Greenland and merges with Gulf Stream of Newfoundland. Kinnis, Greenland current flows between Greenland and Iceland and merges with North Atlantic drift. Then third is Canary current, Canaries, continuation of North Atlantic drift along the western coast of peninsula, Iberian Peninsula and North Africa in the southern direction. See that. In Falkland current, see in South America downward. Falkland current flows northwards along the eastern coast of South America up to Argentina. Then South Atlantic drift under the influence of westerlies at about 40 degrees latitudes, Brazilian current continues as the South Atlantic current. See there. Then, Venezuela current flows northwards along the western coast of South America. South America, see there. Now, let's move to Pacific Ocean. 
concentrate over asia north america concentrate there and australia but think about warm current north equatorial current flows westward from western coast of mexico to the philippines then south equatorial current flows westwards in the uh, southern pacific ocean and bifurcates into northern and southern branch near new guinea see that warm current warm current i'm talking here about warm current counter equatorial current flows between north and south equatorial current in the opposite direction see that equatorial current horizontal kuroshio or japan current the name itself says all flows from taiwan to bering strait then east australian current see that australian continent southern branch of south equatorial current flows along the eastern coast of queensland australia see there then we'll move towards cold current that is oyasho curly current bearing current or alaskan current and okhotsk current meet to form oyasho current then california current flows along the western coast of usa and finally merges with north equatorial current warm to complete the circulation but it's a cold current do remember that then west wind drift flows from west to east in the zone of 40 degree to 50 degree south latitude under the influence of westerlies then peruvian current it is also known as humboldt current see that in downside uh the southern southern side not downside southern side flows northwards along the western coast of south america is actually the continuation of west wind drift then moving on to indian indian ocean let's discuss there and just concentrate here india though we know that i will generally discuss about uh, warm current indian equatorial current flows westwards in the south indian ocean but frequents at madagascar see that south africa portion and the island near there that is madagascar and flows as mozambique and aglias current in the southern direction there is mozambique channel as well aglias current in the southern direction see there southwest monsoon current flows along the coast of india in easterly direction this is very famous southwest monsoon generally is responsible responsible for this monsoon in india it is due to southwest monsoon only that uh, we receive rainfall at, it hits the uh, kerala on 1st of june the coast of kerala and that's how um, that's a different story let's concentrate here on a, on on currents then northeast monsoon current flows along the eastern coast of india during winters that's all but you need to see the direction first just see the direction first warm current i'll pause here for a while just watch that just go through it once more i hope it's clear now that's it that's mj signing off good night bye bye take care